also believe that it helps sow the seed of imagination and stimulate the learner's creativity in language. Figures of speech is widely used across all forms of language expression, be it in written or spoken form, informal or informal, or in standard speech or slang. The use of various figures of speech is pervasive. The importance of learning and using it is quite obvious since people need to fit in into the world where uh, English is the language for communication. I choose to create my visual aid uh, using Cartolina because I believe that um, this kind of paper is much more sturdier than in any other um, paper. This goes hand in hand, especially when the teacher is miles apart from his or her work, his or her workplace because it cannot be easily tear apart except when you're going to intentionally done it. I also used uh, neon papers to create some border designs and to emphasize some important words in the lesson. I think we just have to remember a thing or two about our decoration lesson from our high school days and incorporate it in making visual aid. Since I am only presenting a few types of figures of speech, I think it is fitting to teach it in grade 7 level. In line with the K-12 spiral progression, this needs to be teach in the next grade level in order to ensure that the learners will be able to acquire the knowledge and attain mastery level of this in order that they may become lifelong learners. So I also use um, bigger font size to ensure that learners located at the farthest, cor farthest corner of the room would be able to see it. And I also use um, images and graphics to, for the satisfaction of the learner's eye. I think that would be all. Thank you.